Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn on how to prepare a statement of financial position of holding and subsidiary immediately after the holding company, the parent company, had acquired the subsidiary. This is actually one of the process before we could prepare the consolidated financial statement. And now what we are doing is that we are applying the acquisition method in business combination uh, to uh, prepare the consolidated financial statement. But what we will do for this exercise one, happy and sunny, is to prepare the statement of financial position of holding and subsidiary immediately after holding company had acquired the subsidiary. But this is nothing to do with consolidation. The next video will be the one that we'll talk, be talking on uh, how do we consolidate after we have acquired the investment in the subsidiary. Okay, before I proceed, let me remind you that you should have uh, studied example 1 and 2 on page 334 to 337 of the textbook. The textbook that is used here is the Group Accounting and Reporting by Jane Laza, the uh, 9th edition, 2018. It was published in 2018. Let's look at the coverage of what I'm going to uh, share with you today. And that is the first one in this exercise or in this uh, example that I'm sharing with you. Uh, we are going to learn on how to compute the consideration transferred uh, or the cost of investment that a parent or the investor has transferred to the subsidiary or the investee. And in this example or in this uh, exercise is about the holding company that has acquired 100% of the equity shares in the subsidiary. So if that is the case, in, uh, there is no non-controlling interest in the subsidiary. I hope you have already watched the uh, lecture uh, on the uh, theoretical uh, side of MFRS 10 and MFRS 3 in my other videos. If you have not, please do so. But at the moment, what is important is that knowing what is the percentage of the holding or the parent and the percentage acquired by the uh, non-controlling interest. Here, the holding company acquired 100%. So therefore, there is no percentage acquired by the non-controlling interest. So this is in this exercise. After we have done that, uh, we are going to record the cost of investment in the equity shares of the subsidiary. We, I'm going to show you how do we record that in a journal entries. And then what is the effect of that in the statement of financial position of the holding company? What is the statement of financial position of the holding company immediately after the acquisition of the subsidiary? And what is the impact to the statement of um financial position of the subsidiary after the acquisition of shares by the parent company. Meaning to say that when parent already acquired the control, but before the consolidation. So that will be done here in example 5, in uh, coverage 5 and 6. Okay. Let's look at what we have here. Happy acquired all issued ordinary shares of Sunny on 1st of January 2000, year 5. Year 5, it was acquired in year 5. So this is the date of acquisition. Date of, of acquisition here is the date of acquisition of the equity shares. So whenever you have acquired control through the acquisition of equity shares, you should have already thought of do I need to consolidate? You must consolidate. So the what was done there is that by paying three hundred and eighty thousand. So these are the consideration transferred consideration transferred three hundred and eighty thousand in cash. 
and issuing 250,000 ordinary shares at the fair value of a three ringgit. So how much was issued? 250,000. So this is another consideration transferred. So the consideration transfer can be in several form in this company that was through cash and also by issuing of shares at the fair value. These are the separate financial statement or individual statement of financial position of Happy and Sunny as at 1st of January, year 5. So you have the only share capital, you have the retained profit, non-current liabilities, non-current asset and also current asset and bank. Let's look at what is the requirement. You are asked to calculate the consideration transferred or discharged by Happy. Earlier, I have already shown you what was the consideration transferred. We are going to do that. Then you are asked to determine the proportion of equity shares held by the, no, by the non-controlling interest. I have also done that because I was telling you that if the holding company acquires 100% of the share, it means that non-controlling interest acquires acquisition of shares. There are none. Okay. So therefore, that is already answered but you need to write them properly the next one is to show journal entry to record the acquisition of shares in sunny remember we transfer our consideration so that we can hold shares in sunny and when we hold shares of more than 50 percent in our case it is 100 percent we will have control and when we have control the next step later is to have the financial statement being consolidated but to, uh, for this session, we're just going to focus on the preparation of the statement of financial position for both company before the consolidation, which is a separate financial statement. Uh, and that will be done on the date of acquisition, which is 1st of January, year 5. So let's look at what we have here. So you are asked to compute the consideration transfer in SANI. So if you uh, would see, there are a few things here that you can uh, focus. One of it is that look at what are the uh, form of consideration. That was through cash payment. So the cash payment was how much? You need to go and check. That is given in the question just now, right? And that was 380,000, the amount here this amount here so that 380,000 that 380,000 so that will put you are going to include there the amount then the equity instruments remember uh, the orange shares is a financial instruments when you issue shares here when you issue shares to the investee and your investee is sunny you issue shares that shares issued is at fair value so um, you need to know that is 250,000 the fair value is 3 ringgit and therefore this is your your fair value or fair market value of the shares so now you'll be able to get what is the total consideration transferred. That was easy, right? Remember what we are doing now are without any intercompany transaction, without any complication. And this is just a basic consolidation process. We are not yet doing the consolidation, just the process towards the consolidation. The next one, if you look at the requirement, you are asked to determine the proportion of equity shares held by the non-controlling interest. So if you look, I've been meant, uh, telling you much earlier that um, your percentage of equity shares here yeah, by the parent company or the holding company was 100% and it shows that the non-controlling interest has none and therefore that means that the non-controlling interest in sunny the shareholding in sunny is nil none why because all hundred percent issued orange shares is acquired by the investor 
and the investor is ha happy. And of course they are happy, but this is the name of the company. Thus, Sunny is a wholly owned subsidiary. Perhaps you have come across my lecture that I've explained about what is a wholly owned subsidiary, where 100% shareholding is by the parent. Therefore, if you are asked to compute, the answer is none, nil. But for the parent, that is 100%. But for the subsidiary, the answer, uh, uh, I mean, not for subsidiary, for the non-controlling interest, there are no shareholding. The next one is the due diligence entry in the books of acquirer. So remember what we have done earlier, right? You will see that there are some con the consideration transfer. So this is the one that we are going to transfer. Uh, what we will do is that we are going to go and record the consideration transfer. This is an, actually an investment that you made in your subsidiary. So when it is an investment, investment account in your non-current asset will have to be increased because you invest in an investee company and that is your subsidiary. Uh, and on the other hand, because you invest to get the control, you pay as some consideration transferred to the subsidiary company. So therefore, we will just uh, look at Okay, therefore, if you look what, at what you have here, this is the journal entry where you're going to debit your investment account and you are going to debit your investment account on 1st of January, year 5, 1130, which is the figure here, the figure here, 1130. And the credit will be with your bank and share capital that you have issued. So this 1130 one, one, here will be debited. And the, the breakdown which is 380 and 750,000 that was showing how much or what are the form of consideration. So by way of cash, so we credit bank, 380,000, and this is from here. And uh, we will credit on share capital, 750,000. So that is done in the book of happy. Nothing changed to the subsidiary because this is a transaction in the books of the investor. The next stage that you are asked to do in this question is that you are asked to prepare the You are asked to prepare the the statement of financial position of Happy and Sunny immediately after Happy had acquired Sunny. So for Sunny, this will be exactly the same like this, right? As what you can see here. So if you look at for Sunny, what you have here, what you have here. will be exactly the same as what you will have in Sunny's financial statement after the the shares have been acquired. Okay, I'm putting a blue color here. So this is what you have in Sunny where nothing changed. So nothing changed means it will be exactly like what you have what you have are uh, done before which is here so it is the same so you can just cop uh, compare that and see and the in even the item here would also be the same that is the case for the uh, subsidiary company however for the parent company or for now they are not yet uh, being combined this is a separate statement for that part that relates to happy what you would see is that we are going to show the effect of the transaction here so if you look at the shares before that it was 2.2 million right so because of this uh, shares that you issued you are adding 750,000 to that 2.2 million 
So you have 2950. So there is an increase in the share capital. Nothing changed to the retained profit. So it's exactly the same. So this is the one that changes. So I highlight it in red. This is also the one that that has caused the changes. So this two. Can you see that? They are not the same. Here is the same. Here is the same. Right? Nothing changed. The next item that would change is there is a, an addition to the non-current asset. Addition to the non-current asset, which is investment in Sunny. Remember, investment in Sunny is an asset. So that will increase the non-current asset by 1130. And that is because you have issued shares to the uh, investing company, 750000 as well as paying cash. So you can see here, this part. That one is related to Sunny as well, where you actually credit bank account in your in your uh, acquirer's record, right? So imagine that you are the acquirer. So therefore, the bank account, right? Bank account uh, would be credited as well. So bank account is being credited. So you can see that there are a reduction to the bank account and because of this payment that you have made, that payment there. That, okay, then uh, we will go and check the, the amount. So if you check, it says that, that is the only thing that you need to do before the consolidation. This is just to check what is the impact of that uh, transaction of acquiring the shares in the subsidiary company. With that, we'll continue with our next video for the consolidation part, uh, consolidating the result of happy with Sunny. I thank you for watching. I'm signing off. I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you when I will see you. Assalamualaikum.